trolling assembly tighten it. Put the reverse cylinder pin into the double H housing. Screw tight this reverse switch and bronze gasket and put them into the double H housing. The reverse pin should be basted with lubricating oil when mounting. Rotate the neutral cylinder pin, neutral switch and bronze gasket as a whole. Knock the bowl-like piece onto the housing with bronze stick. Mask the double-edge valve sub-assembly and the gasket onto the double-edge controlling assembly. Fix them with two inner hex bolts. The installment of double-edge controlling assembly finished. Synchronizer is often damaged by the user's aberrant conduct and the swing of transfer shaft. We will talk about the approach to assemble without calipers. This is particularly applicable outside. Main shaft in auxiliary box, counter shaft jointing assembly in auxiliary box, reduction gear on the main shaft of auxiliary box, gasket on main shaft in auxiliary box, pressing slate on main shaft in auxiliary box, covers of counter shaft in auxiliary box, Y92311 bearing, JS80, 1707109 taper roller bearing, which are different from RTO11509F assembly. 42307E inner ring of the bearing, synchronizer assembly, yoke of the auxiliary box. The synchronizer are the same as those in RTO11509F assembly. Before installation, a thorough checkup should be made to see if the two friction tape of cone ring is abraded. If the pin loses, if the contact teeth of synchronizer and yoke groove are abraded. Find out the mark O at the inner side of the denticle in countershaft jointing assembly, painted so as to facilitate synchronizing. When we place some components, mount full. 2307E bearing inner ring onto an end of the jointing shaft. Don't forget, the jointing assembly of 9JS180 transmission is different from RTO11509F assembly. In 9JS180 assembly, the convex side of the yoke in auxiliary box is upward. There are two kinds of cylinder assembly. 9JS180 assembly and RTO11509F assembly cannot be interchanged. There are two same rear covers of bearing on counter shaft. The rear cover of 9JS180 assembly is different from RTO11509F assembly. The convex side of gasket for main shaft in auxiliary box is upward. Don't forget to mount gasket on the 192311 bearing. Don't forget to mount stop ring on the bearing. There are two 192310E bearing within RTO11509F assembly. JS180, 1707019 outputs taper roller bearing. The order cannot be changed. Main shaft gear pressing slate in auxiliary box, different from RTO11509F, has two sides. One is flat, the other is convex. The convex side is upward. Choose a 50 cm mat and lay it on working table. Mark random two coterminous teeth of reduction gear on main shaft of auxiliary box with red paint. Then mark the two 180 degree opposite teeth with red paint. There is respectively one mark O at the inner part of the denticle within two counter shaft jointing assemblies in auxiliary box. Low speed cone ring is upward when mount auxiliary case synchronizer. Mount the main shaft of auxiliary box into gear sleeve of the synchronizer. Put the gasket for main shaft of auxiliary box in reduction gears. 
hosts two jointing shaft assemblies respectively at two sides of the synchronizer. The Mark II should be between the two Mark T's on the reduction gears. Put the main shaft pressing slate of auxiliary box onto main shaft with the convex side upward. Lubricate on the surface of pressing slate. Insert yoke of auxiliary box in synchronizer gear sleeve groove with convex side upward. There are altogether four big holes, one for main shaft, two for auxiliary shafts, and the other one is a cylinder hole. Pull the housing of auxiliary box downward, mount onto the main shaft and two jointing shaft assemblies. Mount JS-180-170-7109A bearing in turns. Outer ring, inner bearing, distance sleeve, outer bearing, and outer ring of bearing. The compounding bearings cannot be interchanged. If one of them is damaged in maintenance, the whole set is to be replaced. Mount 192311 to proper place with specialized tools. Install the stop ring into groove with snap ring pliers. Screwdriver can be used as a makeshift. Mount the compounding bearings with special tools. You can also use other sticks to install it at the proper place. Install the cylinder assembly. First put in the cylinder gasket, then install the cylinder assembly from the top to the bottom. Insert the cylinder shaft into yoke hole. At the same time, mount two fine teeth bolts. Fix yoke and cylinder shaft, get steel wire around to make it solid, and fix the cylinder and housing with four bolts. Mount the cover of counter shaft of auxiliary case and gasket to proper places. Bolt hole is perforating. Use bronze gasket or nylon gasket to avoid leakage. When replace the rear bearing cover of output shaft, don't forget to install the small bronze bush or the odometer will be damaged. If special tool is not available, knock it slightly with the head of odometer passive to a proper place and then install passive plug of odometer. Installation of oil sealing. First check if it is outdated, abraded. If the spring loosed, install the oil sealing horizontally. Here we will give installing examples with specialized tools. Putting rear bearing cover gasket of output shaft, be careful with the contraposition, not to jam the oil tunnel. Tighten rear cover and rear bearing cover with six bolts about 75 mm long, among which one bolt has a hole, another bolt with bronze gasket and nylon bush. It is used to prevent the perforation from leaking oil. These two bolts are installed on both sides of the odometer, then screw down the six bolts. After installing odometer active and inner compound, insert main shaft of auxiliary box. Mount dustproof onto the flange. Install the flange and main shaft of auxiliary box to proper position. Screw down flange bolt with 609 to 677 newton meter moment. Finish installation of auxiliary box assembly. Check up about teeth synchronizing. Driving gear, bearing, bearing stop ring, two O-shaped loops, Locating pan, fixed end ring, 16628 stop ring.